Hello, Rhonda here, guiding you through a full body stretch routine. There are a few different types of stretching. Today, we're gonna focus on static stretching. This type is typically done after a workout when your muscles are already warm. You're gonna hold the stretches for about 20 to 30 seconds. I recommend using a strap and a pillow or a block to sit on when we get onto the floor. Let's get started. Now that you're all warmed up after your walk, jog, dance class, we can go right into our standing stretches. So let's go ahead and stand tall. You're gonna bring your right foot forward, send the hips back, hinging at the hips. You're gonna be feeling a stretch in through the hamstrings and the calves. Go ahead and lift that right toe up towards the ceiling. And slowly walk your hands down that right leg. Maybe even grab onto the toe. And we're holding for about 20 seconds or more. And slowly come on up. Now you're gonna bring all your weight onto your left leg coming into a quad stretch. Feel free to hold on to something, a wall or a ledge. So grabbing onto the outside of the right ankle, opening up through the right shoulder, squaring off those hips. If you're working on balance, maybe even reach your left arm up towards the ceiling and hold always making sure you're breathing into your stretches let's hold for a couple more breaths and slowly release on to the other side. So now bringing the left foot forward, engage the abs, hinging at the hips, sending those hips back. Now lift the left toe up towards the ceiling. Walk your hands down your leg. Touch the toe if it's available to you. Again, feeling that stretch at the back of the leg and maybe a little bit through the the lower back. Holding for a couple more breaths here. And slowly making your way up. Now bringing all your weight into that right leg. Find your balance there. Again, feel free to hold on to a ledge, a wall. Grab on to the outside of the left ankle. Open up through that left shoulder. And again, if you wanna challenge that balance a little bit, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. And hold. Couple more breaths here. And slowly make your way out of it. Now come into a wide stance. From here, we're gonna lunge over to your left. That knee is tracking over the middle of the toes or the middle of the foot. And you're gonna bring your right toe up towards the ceiling. And then slowly stretch your right arm down the leg. You should be feeling a stretch in the groin and the back of the leg. And maybe even touch the toe if it's available to you. And then slowly make your way out of it. 
Now coming into a side lunge on the other side, bending that right knee, the knee tracks over that second or third toe. Bring the left toe up towards the ceiling and stretch your arm down the leg. Again, if it's available to you, touch the toe. And hold. Couple more breaths here. And slowly make your way out of it. Let's bring our feet together. We're gonna roll those shoulders back and down, interlace your grip behind your back. Your feet are about hip bone distance apart. And then you're going to engage the abs as you come into a forward fold. Try to get your arms up as high towards the ceiling as you can. And once you've gotten to that point, then release your grip and just let your arms hang. Let your head hang. Keeping your core engaged the whole time. Maybe with each breath, you're finding a little bit more length at the backs of the legs. And maybe with each breath, you're drawing your head a little closer towards your knees. Feel free to use a block in front of you for support, just right underneath the hands. Holding for a couple more breaths here. And slowly walk your hands back up your legs. Roll those shoulders back and down. And we're gonna come into a light back bend here. So hands at the small of your back. Engage your abs and your glutes to protect your back. And then just as you're drawing your hips forward, you're looking up the ceiling, opening up through the shoulders and just draw your head back. Just only going down to that point where you feel a little opening through the front of the body. And hold and breathe. And slowly come on up. Let's make our way down onto the floor. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way into a nice tall seated position with our legs out in front of us. Feel free to sit on a block if you need a little lift at your bottom. Go ahead and grab your strap. You're gonna hold both ends of your strap. You're gonna place it underneath the balls of your feet, holding both ends. Get length in your spine first. Take an inhale and then exhale Draw your chin towards your feet. Maybe with each breath, coming up and over a little bit further. Stretching out the backs of the legs and your back. Holding for about 20 seconds here. Breathing into it. Couple more breaths. And slowly make your way out of it. All right, you're gonna bring your right foot over your left leg. Reset the spine nice and tall. Reach the right arm up towards the ceiling and bring that arm up and over. Use that hand as a kickstand to keep your spine nice and tall, and then hug that right knee in. Looking over that right shoulder. Maybe with each breath, looking a little further over. You might be feeling this in your right glute. 
and then slowly make your way out of it. Stretch the right leg long. Now bring the left leg up and over the right leg. Reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Bring that hand up and over. Use that hand again as a kickstand to keep that spine nice and tall and hug that left knee in. And hold and breathe. Maybe with each breath, bringing, looking over a little bit further. Just a few more seconds here. And slowly make your way out of it. Now are you going to bring the soles of the feet together? Sit up nice and tall, maybe with those elbows pressed down on those inner thighs. And then slowly round forward. Grabbing onto the tops of the feet. Holding for a couple more breaths here. And slowly make your way out of it. Now coming into a seated wide stance. Again, feel free to sit on your block. You're gonna reach both arms up, out and forward. Find the floor with your hands once you once you're down, just relax the head and the neck. And maybe with each breath, walk your hands a little bit further forward. Holding for about 10 more seconds here. and then slowly walking your hands back towards your center line. We're gonna come into a lateral stretch here. So go ahead and bring your left hand on the inside of the left leg. Reach your right arm up and over. So the bicep should be tracking right over the ear. Try to keep a little space between the chin and the chest. Slowly make your way out of it. Coming back to center. Now stretching your right leg long on the inside of the leg. Reach your left arm up and over. Again, that left bicep should be tracking over the ear. Keeping a little space between that chin and chest. It should be feeling this stretch through the side of the body. and slowly make your way out of it. All right, we're gonna make our way into a kneeling position. So we're gonna bring a little space between the knees, about fifths width distance apart. Let's go ahead and step the right foot forward. Hands start onto the, on the thighs and just slowly shift your weights forward. This stretch is really good if you're, you have a job that you're where you're seated in a chair all day long. You're opening up through your left hip flexor. Keep that spine long, chest lifted. And just slowly shift your weight forward. Nice. and then slowly come on up. Coming into a little twisting stretch here. You're gonna take that left hand, you're gonna bring it parallel to the right foot. Feel free to use a block here. 
underneath your hand. And then you're gonna place your right hand on your sacrum and then open up through that right shoulder. And just hold for a couple more breaths here. And slowly make your way out of it. Hands come back onto the thighs. All right. Now you're going to take that right foot. You're going to shimmy it forward a little bit. Once you have your balance there, lift the toes up towards the ceiling and then I recommend using a block on either side of your foot, or you can also be on your fingertips. So you want that long spine, abs engage, hinge at, hinge at the hips. So you should be really feeling this at the back of the leg. And hold. And slowly make your way on up. Bring that right knee back to meet the left leg. Now the left leg steps forward. The left foot, I should say. Hands on the thighs, opening up through that right hip flexor. Slowly shifting your weight forward. Just about five more seconds here. Couple more breaths. And slowly come on up. Now you're gonna bring that right hand parallel to the left foot on the mat. The left hand goes towards the lower back, opening up through that left shoulder, coming into that gentle twist. Couple more breaths here. And slowly make your way out of it. Hands come back onto the thighs. Then you're gonna bring that left foot forward. Once you have your balance there, lift the left toes up towards the ceiling. Find your block if you need it. Again, you can either be hanging, holding onto your block or be on your fingertips. With each inhale and exhale, folding over a little bit further. And hold. Just a few more seconds here. And slowly make your way back up. And let's go ahead and stretch out our backs. So coming into a child's pose. So just go ahead and set your hips on your heels and then you're just gonna walk your hands forward. So as your fingertips are reaching forward, you're trying to get your hips to touch your heels. You're getting lengthened through your spine. And then from here, we're gonna stretch out the sides of the body. So go ahead and walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. Place your left hand on top of right hand and shift your hips slightly over to the left. Feel that opening all throughout the left side of the body. Now 
nice. Breathing into it. Now go ahead and recenter those hips. Walk your hands through the center over to the left side of your mat. Place your right hand on top of left. Shift your hips slightly over to the right. Feel that opening all throughout the right side of the body. Couple more breaths here. Recenter those hips, walk your hands back to center. We're gonna make our way onto our stomachs. So from here, you're gonna shift into a modified plank position and you're gonna take a slow bend in the elbows until the front of your bodies are on your mats. And then go ahead and bring your palms down so that they're framing your head. Engage your glutes and your abs to protect that lower back and then you're going to inhale to lift into a really light back extension here and hold and breathe. Keeping those abs engaged, glutes activated to protect that lower back. Holding for a couple more breaths here. And slowly make your way out of it. Let's go ahead and lay onto our backs. Let's go ahead and grab our strap. We're gonna place the strap underneath the arch of the right foot. Reach that leg up towards the ceiling. Immediately you should be feeling a stretch at the back of the leg. If it feels okay for your spine, stretch the right leg long. And then you're gonna pull on the strap so that the foot gradually hovers over towards your head. Maybe with each breath, pulling it a little bit further towards you and getting length, more length at the backs of the legs. Now go ahead and bring that leg back to a 90 degree angle from the floor. You're going to bring both straps into the right hand. And then you're gonna slowly bring the right leg out to the side. Try to keep that left hip down. Nice, let's hold for a couple more breaths here. Bring that leg back up towards the ceiling. Now you're gonna transfer the straps into the left hand. Bring the right arm out to the side, crossing the midline of the body. Now stretching out the glutes. And you may be feeling this a little bit more through the backs of the leg. Couple more breaths here. Now go ahead and bring that leg back up towards the ceiling. Bend the left knee, bring the foot flat onto the mat. Release the strap, you're gonna bring the right ankle on top of the left thigh. And then you're gonna put your right, place your hand, right hand in through that little triangle. Lift up on the left foot, 
you're gonna interlace your grip behind the left thigh. And maybe with that right elbow, pressing gently down that inner thigh. And hold. This is a piriformis stretch, figure four stretch. And then slowly release, bringing both feet back flat onto the mat. Grab your strap, both ends. Now placing it underneath the arch of the left foot. Feeling length at the back of that left leg. If it feels okay for your spine, stretch the right leg long. And start hovering that left foot just so that it's above your head. Or your chest. Or you can just keep it here. Just go to that point where you feel a nice stretch slowly working into it. Now you're gonna bring that leg back up towards the ceiling, 90 degree angle from the floor. Place the straps into the left hand, bring the right hand either on your hip or out to the side. Slowly bringing your leg out to the left, And hold and breathe. Couple more breaths here. And slowly bring that leg back up towards the ceiling. Bend the right knee, bring that Foot flat onto the mat. Release the strap. Now you're gonna bring that leg back up towards the ceiling. You're gonna place the straps into the right hand. Left hand goes out to the side, crossing the midline of the body. Stretching out those glutes. See if you can get that left shoulder down. And hold for about 10 more seconds here. Breathing into it. Now slowly bring that leg back up towards the ceiling. You're gonna bend the right knee, bring that right foot flat onto the mat, release the strap, place the left ankle on top of the right thigh. Starting off with gentle pressure in that inner thigh. And now you're gonna lift the right foot off the mat. Left hand goes in through that little triangle, interlace your grip behind your right thigh your hamstring, and then give it a gentle pull. And hold and breathe for about 10 more seconds here. And slowly release. With both knees bent, your feet are about hip bone dis distance apart. Go ahead and grab your block. 
you're gonna lift your hips up into a bridge. You can stay here if you don't have a block. Palms facing down, shoulders anchored, lifting the hips up. Or if you have your block, block you're gonna place it underneath your sacrum and just rest your, your back right there. And hold and breathe. This is a really nice, relaxing stretch. Hold for a couple more breaths here. Go ahead and release the block. Bring your hips back down onto the mat. Stretch your legs long and your arms overhead. Give yourself a nice spine stretch here. Hold for three deep breaths. Bring your arms down by your side, shoulders away from your ears. Bring your knees to your chest. Roll over to your side, pick yourself up. Come into a seated position, into an easy cross-legged position. Inhale to reach both arms up and float those arms down. Two more times. Nice job. This is your post-workout full body static stretch.